Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this quick video, I just wanna share with you how you can create a snapshot in Go High Level. I believe there are a few different ways you can actually do it, but I just wanna give you the most simple way to actually create them. I know when I first tried to tackle this particular task, it was a little bit confusing, so hopefully this will clear the air for you. There is definitely an easy way to do it and a much harder one as well. Now, just before we get into it, if you haven't yet got Go High Level, I've got the craziest bonus for go high level in town if you use my referral link you're getting bonus training templates automations and a whole bunch of stuff as well so make sure you go ahead and check it out so let's get started so what I recommend you do if you are thinking about maybe creating a funnel or maybe some particular types of you know automations things like that and you're thinking of sharing it with another person what I suggest you do is follow the strategy. So the first thing you want to do is come to your account, go ahead and actually create a new sub account, a blank one, where we can start populating all the things you want to give away because it's going to put all of that inside of a snapshot. So I've created one called Legendary Marketer. I'm about to give away these two Legendary Marketer funnels. It's a program I'm an affiliate for and I created a funnel in a different platform and it went off and I know a lot of people want it in high level, hence creating it. So I created that particular sub account called uh, Legendary Marketer and what I'm going to do is actually start populating it. So you can see I'm in a different sub account right, in, right now, but what I'm going to do is come to the funnels. I'm going to give these two funnels away. So you have to just simply come here once you've created your blank sub account, click on clone and what you want to do is just choose the account that you're going to be sharing it with. Okay, so Legendary Marketer, click on, I can actually backspace that. Just press confirm and now that entire funnel is going to be sent to that sub account. So that's one thing inside of there, right? Super simple, super quick, super easy. I'm gonna send the second one. So clone once again and I'm gonna backspace copy. I'm gonna put it inside Legendary Marketer like so. Click on confirm. So now this uh, sub account has got two entire funnels ready to rock and roll. I'm also going to be putting in some forms, right? So I'll go to the form builder. I'll go to the most recent and we've got three forms. So I'll go ahead and share this once again to my sub account. Okay, so share that one, right? We'll share another one. And you got to love sub, uh, sorry, snapshots once you actually figure out how to use them. They are such a time saver. All right, so I've given three forms, two funnels because a uh, little bit of sizing differences. So now if I go to the sub account, just to check I'm happy with everything inside of there, you can also go in and build some automations. You can share websites. You can pretty much share everything in an entire sub account. It's phenomenal. Okay, so the forms are there, which is great. We've also got the funnels, which are there. So that is perfect. Now what we need to do is go back to our agency level. So go back to your agency view, come down to uh, to uh, settings, okay? And then come to snapshot. Now inside a snapshot is where you have the ability to go and create them. So I'm gonna go ahead, click create new snapshot. I'm gonna call this legendary marketer um, assets, okay? And then I'm gonna choose an account and click legendary marketer. Now, all I need to do is go ahead, click on save, and it's going to build an entire snapshot with everything that's in that sub account. So that's why I always recommend you create a new sub account or else it's gonna share everything in your entire account, entire snap, uh, sorry, sub account into that snapshot. So as you can see, it's already been created. Now, if you wanted to share this with someone, just simply click on the share button. You've got a few different options. You can either get a one-time share link. So if you just wanna share it with one person, uh, make, you can choose this one link and then once it's clicked once, it's gone forever. Or if you want a permanent link, which I'm gonna be creating, you just simply click get permanent link, click get link and boom, you now have a link you can share and it's going to be um, active as long as you want it, which is really cool. Now, if you are someone that wants to share an entire sub account, for example, this Phil Wilson one I have has got hundreds of funnels, hundreds of automations, assets, forms, everything like that. What's gonna be kind of annoying is you're going to have to still create a sub account. You're going to have to share an entire snapshot of your main account 
and then you just have to select the things you want to import and then you're going to have to create a sub account so it's it's a lot harder what i'm trying to do from now on is if i'm going to build something that i know i'm going to share in future i'm just going to create a sub account and start building it inside there so then if i ever want to share it i just simply follow the steps you've seen in this video and then you can go ahead and share it because the only things i think you can't share inside of a sub account is actually the automations it might be something they share in future but i know if you, if i've tried to personally share just an automation to a sub account for example if i go to automations here inside of workflows i don't believe there is any option to actually share the the workflow itself so what i'd have to do is either create a snapshot for this import the the workflows the automations and then delete everything else i didn't want it it's going to be a real pain so instead i'm just going to build them separately inside of sub accounts and then i've got the snapshots there for if i ever need them so hopefully that makes sense i went a little bit meta there but simplest way create a sub account put all the assets you want to share inside of that sub account and then create a snapshot there so hopefully that makes sense um, and if you want these funnels i'm about to give away i'll also link to the next video i'm about to launch um, so that's basically it let me know if you have any questions if you got stuck just let me know in the comments down below as well but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you haven't yet hit subscribe and i look forward to seeing you on the next video